Tutankhamun Egyptological pronunciation Tutankhamun, commonly referred to as King Tut, was an Egyptian pharaoh who was the last of his royal family to rule during the end of the 18th dynasty during the New Kingdom of Egyptian history. His father is believed to be the pharaoh Akhenaten, identified as the mummy found in the tomb KV-55. His mother is his father's sister, identified through DNA testing as an unknown mummy referred to as, the younger lady, who was found in KV-35 tomb. Tutankhamun restored the ancient Egyptian religion after its dissolution by his father. Enriched and endowed the priestly orders of two important cults and began restoring old monuments damaged during the previous Amarna period. He reburied his father's remains in the Valley of the Kings and relocated the capital from Akhetaten back to Thebes. Tutankhamun was physically disabled with a deformity of his left foot along with bone necrosis that required the use of a cane, several of which were found in his tomb. He had other health issues including scoliosis and had contracted several strains of malaria. When Tutankhamun became king, he married Ankesenpadin, one of Akhenaten's daughters, who later changed her name to Ankesenamun. They had two daughters, neither of whom survived infancy. While only an incomplete genetic profile was obtained from the two mummified fetuses, it was enough to confirm that Tutankhamun was their father. Likewise, only partial data for the two female mummies from KV-21 tomb has been obtained so far. KV-21 a mummy has been suggested as the mother of the fetuses but the data is not statistically significant enough to allow her to be securely identified as in Kesenamen. Computed tomography studies published in 2011 revealed that one daughter was born prematurely at five, six months of pregnancy and the other at full term, nine months. Tutankhamun's death marked the end of the royal line of the 18th dynasty. Kings were venerated after their deaths through mortuary cults and associated temples, Tutankhamun was one of the few kings worshipped in this manner during his lifetime. A stela discovered at Karnak and dedicated to a Munare and Tutankhamun indicates that the king could be appealed to in his deified state for forgiveness and to free the petitioner from an ailment caused by sin. Temples of his cult were built as far away as in Kawa and Fares in Nubia. The title of the sister of the viceroy of Kush included a reference to the deified king, indicative of the universality of his cult. Tutankhamun was buried in a tomb that was unusually small considering his status. His death may have occurred unexpectedly, before the completion of a grander royal tomb, causing his mummy to be buried in a tomb intended for someone else. This would preserve the observance of the customary 70 days between death and burial. His tomb was robbed at least twice in antiquity, but based on the items taken and the evidence of restoration of the tomb after the intrusions. These robberies likely took place within several months at most of the initial burial. The location of the tomb was lost because it had come to be buried by debris from subsequent tombs, and workers' houses were built over the tomb entrance. There were 5,398 items found in the tomb, including a solid gold coffin, face mask, thrones, archery bows, trumpets, a lotus chalice, two immediate fetishes, gold toe stalls, furniture, food, wine sandals, and fresh linen underwear. Howard Carter took 10 years to catalog the items. Recent analysis suggests a dagger recovered from the tomb had an iron blade made from a meteorite. Study of artifacts of the time including other artifacts from Tutankhamun's tomb could provide valuable insights into metalworking technologies around the Mediterranean at the time. Many of Tutankhamun's burial goods show signs of being adapted for his use after being originally made for earlier owners, probably Smenker or Nefernefriotin or both. This is the life of Tutankhamun. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe us.